But the Monday before they started that trial in Baltimore, mm -hmm. the stock market hit the highest, highest peak ever, ever in the history of this. You can look it up. Okay. October of 2007. The highest. Okay. Then they stood on the steps of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. After the judge, you you understand that this is a representative government. Mm -hmm. This isn't these these things mean something. Okay. Not just in this life, but to God. This is the government. Okay. It's representative. So you're bound. The people are bound by the actions of their leaders. You put the leaders in place, you're bound by their actions. So when the federal judge sat up on the bench and he said, I'm not going to let them have a count against you for slander because nobody cares if you commit adultery in America. Mm -hmm. To which the uh, Air Force lawyer, Summers, Sean Summers, you know he was in the Air Force, mm -hmm. and that the judge is also a military man. Mm -hmm. So Summers pops up and he goes, well, Your Honor, it's still a crime in the military to commit adultery. And the judge says, well, it's a good thing they don't enforce any of that. So. He binds this country, and they're already bound. Okay. The Lord Jesus Christ said, if you divorce and remarry, you are living in adultery. So the stock market crashed because the uh, judge... It's way worse than so that. So God way crashed worse. the stock, stock market? Way worse than that. Way, way worse. Here's what he did. Here's his promise. See? Who? You don't believe God. God. Okay. Maybe you personally, probably you personally. This nation of no. Christians okay. don't believe God. You know, this is a Judeo-Christian nation. This is the Christians. The Christians passed Proposition 8. And at the time, October, mm -hmm. before the election, mm -hmm. I was standing in San Francisco at picketing at um, Paul Newman's memorial service. Okay. And here comes a guy from the Bay Area News. Mm -hmm. And he says, what do you think about this Proposition 8? I said, too stinking late. You're going to have fags marrying in this country. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what they do about Prop 8. It'll mm -hmm. take a federal judge about 2.4 seconds. That was a little hyperbole. But he'll dispose of that Proposition 8 so fast it'll make your head spin. And of course, that's what he did because they are bound. Mm -hmm. They said it was okay to be gay. You don't get to say that like one man and God is going to then say, Okay, that's what you get. The phony Christians that stand up and say, it's okay to be gay. Okay, sera, sera. Um, live and let live. And then turn around and say, oh, no, you didn't. You cannot marry. What kind of mean-spirited crap is that? You said it was okay to be gay. If it's okay to be gay, who are you to say, then we're going to cut you off when it comes to marrying well, or adopting children I agree or anything with you else. on that point. I definitely agree If it's agree okay with you. to be gay, you're going to have fags married in this country, and you're going to have them adopting children, and all the rest of the things mm -hmm. that the Christians are now, oh, my God, is this what this means? Yes, this is what it means. 